I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the prophet of the restoration and founder of the LDS Church, the church I served as a bishop for five years. I knew the church was true. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. My life has been built on certain truths, but wishing doesn't change the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. When I finally learned the truth about the real history and doctrines of Mormonism, I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have come to learn that many others have made a similar journey out of the bondage of religion and into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about. Courageous people who want to share their story, hoping that you, the viewer, will discover the same new life in Jesus. So if you're a Latter-day Saint who is struggling with questions or seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we invite you to join us tonight. We have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and I'm really pleased that you'd be willing to join with us, and I think you're in for a real treat today. And I'd like to introduce Delaney McCraney. And you may recognize that name. Of from the McCraney family, the Sean and Mary had three daughters, very lovely daughters, and so we're interviewing uh, Delaney today and Cassidy next week. So, Delaney, thanks for coming and sharing your story. Oh, thank you. This so will be very much. interesting mm -hmm. since we know so much about your family, and uh, and it'll be. I'm sure people are interested in you and your story, and and from your perspective, you know, I interviewed my daughter, and I learned new things from her just because she was saying things maybe that I'd never thought about, never mm -hmm. realized that she experienced. So yeah. anyway, tell us where you were born and where were you, where were you born? Where are you from? I'm from Huntington Beach, California. Okay. Um, and I've always lived there. I just recently moved up here to help out with my parents' ministry. So. Okay. Yeah. And born into the church? Yes, born into the church and went actively until I was about uh, 13, I'd say, till okay. a freshman in high school, and then I kind of stopped going then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you're young, of course, so you're, is it okay to say how old you are? Yeah. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't. But. <laughs> I'm 22. Okay, 22. And so, and it's been about 10 years, I know, since your father had a, his program, started his program. Mm -hmm. So you were just 12 or 13, as you say, mm -hmm. then, and he had, he had actually, um, kind of left Mormonism even before that probably, but mm -hmm. were you aware at that time what had happened? When he tells his story, he talks about sitting out in front of the gym or something waiting for the girls to come out. Were you mm -hmm. one of those girls? I was one of them. Yeah? <laughs> I think I was. <laughs> were you aware that he had had an experience at all? Or No, I mean, he. I think he was searching and yeah. uh, questioning things for a really long time and continued to after that experience and I was not aware. I think he would talk about it with my parent, my mom, sure. um, but I became aware of it I think when he started attending the school of ministry. Oh, and he started going to school. And, okay. Yeah, so then it, yeah. I started to realize that something <laughs> different was going on. But. And you were just active in primary and Started Young Women's, I guess, and yeah. yeah, I was. I really liked it a lot for the so the social aspect. Oh sure, I yeah. had a lot of friends, and I didn't have friends really outside of that, so it was fun to go. Were and, there a lot of kids in school? Were they LDS? Too? Yeah, Were yeah. They? Uh, um, not probably as much as here, no. but I had a definitely good group of friends mm -hmm. all through elementary school and middle school okay. from there. So, and did it ever come up? during your youth that your family was uh, different, I guess, from the LDS normal? Or, yeah, or, yeah, it it wasn't as talked about with my friends. Yeah, It was kind of under the cover. Um, it didn't really come out into the open until I just stopped going to church. Oh, but, and then they asked you. Yeah, it, so. it almost had a reverse effect when my parents 
came out because they would reach out to us more, email us, come to church. And oh. yeah, so they were almost more nice to us <laughs> when our parents were not believers in yeah. the church. When you were young like that, and I guess I try to think back, that was a long time ago, but when, when I was young, do you feel like you was learning, you were learning about Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon? Yeah. <laughs> was this what you were being taught about prophets and how important prophets were? Yeah, I think that is all I learned about. I don't ever recall being taught about Jesus, really. Really? I knew... I knew who Jesus was and what he did, but I I really remember them ingraining to read the Book of Mormon and sure. just the songs that are about the prophets and yeah. the temple and things of that sort. I don't remember much at all about the Bible from yeah. that point in my life. You mentioned the temple. Your mom and dad were married in the temple. Mm -hmm. Were you aware of that? I was, and yeah. Was that something you... Proud of. Early on, yeah, proud of, yeah. And, and early on, you thought, well, probably I'll, I'll get married in the oh, temple yeah. too. That was, a... yeah, I never really questioned it to be honest. The church? No, mm -hmm. I was, I liked it yeah. mainly because I had friends That's from it. That's friends were. Yeah, yeah there yeah. wasn't much. I didn't think too deep into the doctrine of it mm -hmm. when I was younger. You know, and I think so. that's interesting because as adults, we probably assume our children are catching everything that's being said in sacrament meeting mm. and and <laughs> all the different activities that they go on and, and we think oh they must be really you know catching all this great spiritual yeah. food that's being thrown <laughs> out there but that's probably not I mean I don't it know how much be, it is yeah I for remember some, some friends definitely caught on to things and I was like how do they know what that means <laughs> and different things like that but um a lot of it had nothing to do with what they were actually teaching. It was just yeah. social and fun. Oh, neat. So. so you didn't take seminary then? Well, did I you? didn't. Yeah. I was just starting to lose interest at that point. Now your fa your father had left by then, but had mm -hmm. your mother? No. And my so mom, you were still going to church with her for yeah. quite a while. Yeah, my mom What was the dynamic there? Was that awkward for mom and dad? or? Were they they? <laughs> had differences, definitely, but they were yeah. never outspoken with us about it. Okay. Um, if anything, they would encourage me to attend Mormon Church and Calvary at the same time, which I was doing. And um, they were definitely supportive of me finding my own way, yeah. which I like credit everything to that because I, they I showed me love. Yeah. So. Well, that was one of the messages I think your dad kept portraying even on TV and I'm sure it sounds like with your family is just uh, you know let God be in charge and mm -hmm. if you go to this church or you go to that church it's it's okay because God if you keep trusting in God he, he'll eventually lead you along yeah. to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so did you keep going did, did you ever attend a Christian church then in your when you were young? Yes I I started going to a um, Christian youth group in middle school. Oh. So all through seventh and eighth grade, I was going to both churches for. Oh, did you see a difference there? Yeah, uh, it was very different. It was um, just in their activities. It was different. We were dancing and playing games at the Christian church, oh. and Mormon church wasn't. It was like that, but not as much. And mm -hmm. um, the way they spoke. All, solely about Jesus at in the Christian, Christian church. You could, you could tell a difference then. Yeah, that was when I first really started to hear about it, and I understood it in my head. It took a really, really long time for me to fully like feel it in my yeah. heart. I think, but yeah. I from the from the first time I went to a Christian church, I liked that message of grace and, and freedom. Jesus and yeah. Stuff. Yeah, that is interesting. I don't know even when I came out that I'd realized that we didn't talk much about Jesus until I left, of course. And then I realized, wow, uh, we just don't praise him. We don't worship yeah. him and anything. It's just, it was really shocking kind of to me that that I was so, <laughs> that I'd missed so much yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 I definitely didn't realize it yeah. while going to the Mormon church until you started seeing what, yeah. what Christian church is yeah. like. Yeah. Now you went on a youth conference mm -hmm. with your sister. Yes. Was it just with Cassidy? Yes. And what, what, is that a LDS? 
It was. Youth conference? Yeah. Was that EFY? Especially um, for youth? Yes, it was. And w where was that at? It was up here in Salt Lake. Oh, was it? And we came up here from Huntington, and that was the final straw, pretty much. Now we why? Both, what would happen? We, we were both a little bit um, on the fence at that point anyway, but we went and I remember, I don't remember a lot about it, but I remember someone speaking and saying, Jesus is a Mormon and just things that Cassie and I both were like, what is going <laughs> on? And there were people there, our leaders that were really kind about it. They let us not go into the temple when everyone else did and different things they were accepting of it. But after that, we, I don't think I ever went to the Mormon church again after that conference. It just the things that they were saying were so yeah. seemed blasphemous, I guess, almost. <laughs> on yeah. Jesus is a Mormon. And yet that's what we kind of believed. I mean, not necessarily he was going to become a Mormon, but he had to believe in the Mormon gospel. Mm -hmm. He had to do what he needed to to get to the celestial kingdom, too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all very funny, isn't yeah. it? That would be. We very think about that. <laughs> well, so then after high school, what happens to you? So I attended a very strict Christian college um, and played volleyball there. And I definitely um, was exposed to something very similar to Mormonism, actually. It was very, very legalistic. Oh, kind yeah. Of, was it, it was a Nazarene school, and just everything about it was. Yeah, it, I thought it was going to be life changing, but it was kind, it was life changing in a way that I didn't expect. And hmm. um, what well, was yeah. it about Jesus? I mean, it was. Yeah. yeah, but but there was just a lot more added to it to Jesus. Yeah. Um, a lot of rules. I found that too. Christianity can be kind of challenging, actually, and some of the religions or some of the Christian denominations can be pretty legalistic, can't they? Yeah. <laughs> so was... what did you did you just kind of let it? And did you learn, or did you feel like you were picking up on it, or did it just help you with the contrast of? Yeah, I think it. Um, that was definitely a lot harder for me to swallow than Mormonism. Um, really? in my life just because I think I was a little bit too young for Mormonism to have an effect yeah. on me um, but that school shook me up sorry I'm getting emotional <laughs> but it wasn't I just graduated last year and it wasn't until recently that I've really felt like freedom in Christ like I'm just starting to see that every religion kind of has its on has you. a potential problem. Yeah. So, well, so did you, did the other kids? Did you talk about this at all at school? <laughs> yeah, did I, they feel I, the same thing. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. They. I had a. I was definitely friends with the group of kids that was questioning in the way that I was. Yeah. Um, there is a very striking difference between the two groups at my school, and there is mm. some that were very. Uh, were they trying to, to convert you to anything? Is that part no. of it? It wasn't. Um, not me. I was always a believer, and they knew that. But they were always questioning my actions and my oh. motives and everything. So Just when you say freedom, and... there wasn't a lot of oh, freedom. No. <laughs> there was none. Oh. Just from my own peers asking, yeah. oh, "How really? are you doing?" Yeah. Like. What? <laughs> yeah, it was very frustrating. Yeah. So, so that's probably been a blessing. But you're able to make the contrast, I guess, between Mormonism and and freedom in Christ. When we just think about us belonging to the body of Christ, mm -hmm. th there is a great freedom there. Yes. I wonder why. Maybe it's just human nature. Do you think? It must be. <laughs> I mean, you put men and men together, and put a couple of them together, and they start making rules just right off the bat, don't they? It's yeah. just, this is funny. It's very, it has been very interesting. Um, Did you ever think to go back to Mormonism? Did you ever, in, as you've grown older and you thought, well, maybe I missed something there? I think um, the influence that my parents, especially my dad at that young age, yeah. uh, had on me never made me really want to go back. Yeah. Okay. Did yeah. you ever, you had some questions on, he helped you with those. Do you remember what some of those questions were? What kind of things did you 
wonder about. Yeah, I remember being so frightened of hell and oh. people going to hell and or people that I knew that didn't believe in what was going to happen or um, or just who Jesus was. I didn't get the whole concept, like why someone had to die for us to be saved and just different things. And he, they were very, very good with me and always let me ask them questions. Was this during and, high, like high school and stuff, mm-hmm. even before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, early high school. So that helped? It helped so give much. You a little comfort or peace or something, some understanding. Yeah. So what have, you mentioned you didn't talk much about Jesus as a as Latter-day Saint. Did you do much with the Bible as a Latter-day Saint? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't understand a word of it. That Bible was in the King James. It, it was hard for me to even hold. Plus, it felt pressure to read the Book of Mormon, if anything, yeah. I guess, the scriptures. So yeah, they, now, now how are you with the Bible? Do you, do you... Yeah, I do not put as much time as I should. And, well, that's um, probably true of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> I've, want, I've recently felt the true like compelling feelings to start reading now yeah. which is good i've never really like wanted to pick it up and read it oh. so i well, think you're things a busy are coming young together lady. your work and you're going to school and oh, yeah. you know, you've got plans <laughs> and just living life i'm sure yeah uh, so but it's it's a i guess what i i'd like to make sure that everyone understands is that you you've been able to come to an understanding with with who Jesus is and what he did for you. Now, did you get that message at Point Loma or not? I think I got it before Point Loma. Okay. I but they do talk about that there. Yes. Okay. They do. They it's complicated because I that was what was hard about it was I was confused the whole time like they do talk about grace and they talk about love and all these things, but, but then they don't act like yeah. It. Why do they get mad at me when I <laughs> go to a party or just different things? It yeah. was really like I just couldn't get it, and mm. I think coming out of it, yeah. I'm so I'm able to look back and start to understand things, and that's probably how it is for people that have come out of Mormonism at a later age as well. Yeah, I suppose we see see things differently and. Um, when you talk about freedom now, and what does that really mean to you? I have never experienced it until just this past year, and I feel like I don't have to worry about the little details that people argue over, yeah. and I feel like I can pursue dreams that I've always wanted to do that aren't being missionary or being, I felt kind of guilty for that, not yeah. wanting to be a pastor or something. Oh, really? So, or a lot of yeah. people that come out of school like that, is that what their goal is or mm-hmm. plan to, to become yeah. a pastor? Yeah, and I just would always question what is the point of doing anything else than being in ministry yeah. if if this is the most important thing. and. I feel like freedom in Christ really allows us to do what we love. Yeah. Well, and, and that's one of the things I think, and your dad pushes this a lot, is, is the whole thing about love, and that's what we should be doing, loving God and loving our fellow man. I think when you start throwing laws into that, and Paul talks about that too, it's, it's just not, the, it's not how we're saved. It's not, if we live by the law, we're going to be judged by the law, yeah. right? <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> so you're working with your dad. Mm-hmm. How has that been? It has been beyond life-changing. Yeah. It's been, I'm just so much more relaxed in Christ, like yeah. able to understand God a lot better. So. Do, you, do you see, I'm amazed what he does through the week and how he's been so consistent <laughs> with it for so many years. Yeah. Do you see that and sense that and that yeah. commitment that he has and yeah. the love he has for people? Now, you've watched him change a little bit, too. What do you think of some of those changes? They, I'm not going to lie, it was hard for me at first. I was really confused because I was at Point Loma, and I had very, like, very different um, opinions going into my head while my dad's preaching something else up in Utah. So, um, yeah, it really hasn't come together for me until just recently. So it's been really good. 
Now, you mentioned that uh, you probably didn't hear a lot of this discussion between your mom and dad when he was mm -hmm. coming, but you, you did notice a change in, in him, though. Yeah. Was he, was he, I went through a period of being not, I wouldn't say upset, but I just felt like I was probably in a dark cloud for mm -hmm. several years trying to, I was learning the truth about Mormonism and it started really bothering me. And it wasn't until later I kind of dealt with it. Mm -hmm. did, did you, was your dad going through some of that, do you think, early on? And yeah, it's Is that hard. the change that you saw, I guess? Yes. Um, yeah, I, I even... In the past few years, you, I've seen a change in him. And Have you? Yeah, he he progressively has, from the very start, become more so much more loving and uh, <laughs> more free to be himself and yeah. not, um, yeah. And he always has been those things, but I've watched God really change him in other ways. So that's been a good oh, testament to well, that's me. great. Now, you've still got family in the church, right? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> so do you go to reunions and this kind of stuff? And yeah. what do they think about you and the, the rest of the McCraney clan? At first, we did not have much communication with our other family. And this would be what, aunts and uncles? You yeah, mean? And, every, our and grandparents. And his, uh, his yeah. family and Mary's Yes, family. both sides. Yeah. Um, they didn't want to speak with us too much, but it hasn't been as much my doing, but I think my parents just still supporting their family and loving mm. them has really had an effect. And we're starting to see some of their siblings even starting to understand things or just small and subtle changes that are, yeah. Yeah. It's having an effect now. Well, good. Now, do you have you have you sensed in the last? Of course, you were in California, I guess, for all of your school time. Yeah. And you've been here just now, almost a year or mm -hmm. so since you graduated in just last May yeah. of 2015. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed or sensed a change in the church? Do you? I mean, with the with the uh, essays and with all the different. Are you, are you hearing from your dad at least that more and more people are questioning or? Are you in on that part of Of the Mormon church? Uh -huh. Yes. Um, it's funny because I'm starting to see all the kids my age either go those two different ways. They're either deciding to commit their life to it and get married in the temple and uh -huh. follow that path or not. And most of them are. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing too many people question it, but... Of my friends, of friends mm -hmm. from California. Yeah, but hearing in the ministry, we hear so many people from around the country. Yeah, yeah. so it, I, I'm starting to see that it's more common than I thought. So. Well, it's a real challenge, and I know there are a lot of people that have a heart for Mormons, and even people that weren't Mormons, but especially mm -hmm. your your family and your mom's doing well, and she's doing really well. Yeah, yeah. and your older sister. She's Mallory, well. she's still in California, mm -hmm. is she now, with her husband and yeah. two kids? She is. Okay. <laughs> so what are your plans? Are you, you going to go to school? Yes, I'm going to school. I, well, I'm applying for the next coming year, so okay. we'll see what happens, hopefully. Yeah. Well, I just have appreciated watching you girls, all three of you, but uh, come, to, to, come to the Lord, and I know it's made your mom and dad thrilled. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have a some thoughts here about your journey or you do you feel like you've made a good journey and you're happy with where you're mm -hmm. at yeah it's been really great um it's been so nice to have people like you in the ministry because <laughs> i've watched a lot of people come and go but it's nice to see it it helps me to understand and like understand love and yeah. um and and just the way God works, because there's people that stick to it, and I I don't know. It's just been really nice to have you guys' support. Oh, wow, well, um, it's been our, yeah. it's been a thrill for us. But uh, and and I credit your dad with a lot of that. I think listening to him at the beginning of his TV show, it was always what you were saying. Well, just just stay where you're, you know, not stay where you're at, but just trust God. You know, read mm -hmm. the Bible, trust yeah. Jesus. And those kind of messages that really helped. And you got that too, I guess, as a, yeah. a young lady. Yeah. Yes. And that is 
the sole reason I'm where I'm at right now is because my parents allowed me to to really search it out. They didn't force you or anything. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it would be the same if they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, your mom was taking you to church for a while, so you're going to both churches. Was your dad taking you to the Christian church? Yeah. And your mom was taking you to the, yeah. to the Mormon church? <laughs> it was fun. I, I had a good time with it. Uh, very That's social. Lots of church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it so was. You're getting but... the best of both worlds there, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but. But it was interesting looking back at the time. I I didn't think too much about it, but you weren't kind of catching on with the yeah. But looking back, what? But looking back, yeah, I could I can see so clearly dif the differences and yeah. and and how I was being fed information that has really affected me now. That yeah, I wouldn't have known about Jesus at all if I didn't start going to. Does that surprise you since the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints <laughs> is the title and, and they yeah. seem like they worship Jesus? What is it we're missing here as Mormons? What are we, what are we missing? It, it, it seems more, what, what would you say to that? I don't know. I, I really do think there are Mormons that have the right heart and yeah. have that mindset. Yeah. Um, but they're, I would assume they've read the Bible and they have, I think if you aren't doing those things, yeah. maybe. Um, it just, it, there's a lot though, that it just seems like it's us doing it, right, as yeah. Mormons. I mean, we're the ones going to the temple, we're the ones making the covenants, we're mm -hmm. the ones getting, working our way to heaven. It's not about what yeah. Jesus did for us. Yeah. yeah. Even as a, a young girl, I can remember feeling so good when I would do those things. Or I was the, yeah. I was the good girl and yeah. I, I obeyed my parents and obeyed all the rules of church. And so I felt so good felt about pretty myself. pretty proud about yeah. where you were at and what you were doing. And, yeah, it's yeah. scary that I felt that way. You didn't know you were a sinner, right? <laughs> I guess I really didn't. I, yeah. <laughs> I did not at all at that time. So, Well, Delaney, we're almost through. <laughs> we made it. I'm, uh, I'm sure glad you were willing to come and share your story and and it is interesting what things we learn along the way, and I'm sure you've got some wonderful experiences down the road, and mm -hmm. you meet some young man sometime, oh. <laughs> and life will be wonderful for you. But uh, as long as you're resting in Christ and having that freedom and, and the grace that He offers, you'll be just fine, and you're excited about life, right? I am. Oh, good. Thank you, Earl. Well, thank you, Delaney, and I appreciate it. And, Remember, as we mention here from time to time, you're following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we appreciate you watching and see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>